let us clarify some confusion between quadratic equations and quadratic functions. These terms are often used interchangeably in high school and middle school, and sometimes that is correct, but in general the concept of equation is a broader concept than function. Let us review some basic definitions. An equation is a mathematical statement asserting that two expressions are equal. A function is a relation such that each member of the domain is paired to exactly one element of the codomain. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. There are three parts of a function. There are two sets called the domain and the codomain, although most middle school and high school students are familiar with the range. And we have some elements in the domain, we have some elements in the range, we may have elements outside of the range that are part of the codomain also, but we don't consider those cases at this level. And then we have a rule of assignment, let us call it F, that tells us how the elements from the domain are paired to the elements of the codomain. In a sense, we can say that since rules can be expressed as equations, then all functions are equations, but not all equations are functions. In the realm of quadratics, which are polynomials of degree 2, quadratic equations may have one or more variables. Here are some examples. The general form in one variable is this, where a, b, and c are parameters. They are real numbers. They are called parameters, and these are real numbers such that a is different from zero because if a were zero then this term would collapse and this would be a linear equation provided of course that b is different from zero. And in terms of quadratic functions they are all quadratic equations. They may have one or more independent variables and we apply techniques used for solving quadratic equations to help us graph quadratic functions. Let us look at one example. We set this function, this quadratic function, if we set it equal to zero, we can find the x-intercepts, and this is x plus two times x minus two, which tells us that x is negative two, or x equals 2. These are the x-intercepts of our function. If we evaluate the function at 0, we get the y-intercept. This is the y-intercept. There's only one, otherwise we would violate the definition of a function. And these are the x-intercepts, which we already graphed. And then we, gra we plot this point. And since this is a quadratic function, we know that the graph is a parabola that opens upward, and here's a sketch of our graph.